I want to know how can I uh, develop myself um, so that I could be a good candidate and what kind of jobs uh, are there out for me with this kind of background and where should I start? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a great question. And um, first of all, I'd like to say congratulations on your rec recent accomplishment. And uh, thank you. And, uh, you know, it's a, where to start. I mean, you're, you're starting in a good place to begin with. Right. So you have a, um, uh, you know, a degree in an engineering field. Um, you are uh, continuing your education and um, and that's always, you know, something I, of course, would encourage and and support of, of young students like yourself to continue your education. Um, and. You know, the um, the thing that got me into this industry was really my my passion for software, you know, for the digitalization, yeah. as you say right now, of course, I'm talking about 30 years ago, um, you know, so the industry was quite different back then. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I really always loved computers and uh, using computers and programming them and, and making them, you know, work for me. Right. Uh, and so uh, it was sort of how I became from being a civil engineer, because that's my my education. Um, I, I then combined that with sort of my, with my passion of computers, which led me to where I am today in a, in a software company and leading a, a division that, um, you know, creates software for engineers. So um, so I think you're, you know, by following your passion, uh, but combining that with your pragmatism, you know, in your question, right, where do I start? What are the career options? Um, and really looking for that combination of, you know, what your education is in and then what your passion mm -hmm. is in, in terms of, you know, using software and, and leveraging software and helping the industry go digital. You know, the way Bentley yeah. talks about it is in, you know, going digital. It's a lot of people in the industry talk about a digital transformation, and of course, there is a transformation that's happening, but sometimes a transformation kind of implies a beginning and an end, and mm -hmm. we really think this going digital is more of a journey that will continue because there'll always be another step in your maturity and another step in, in the... So I think you're on the right track in that you're pursuing a career in engineering, um, but with an eye towards digitalization. Um, and I think there um, are lots of opportunities for that because, you know, this industry, the infrastructure industry and construction in particular, has always rated quite low in terms of its current digitalization. Exactly, yeah. So there's lots of opportunity there. Um, I think that, uh, you know, my only advice would be, you know, so continuing continuing your education, uh, which could be full time or, you know, pursuing a, you know, a, a, a job somewhere and then also continuing your education either on the job or, mm -hmm. you know, through sort of the um, the opportunities that many employers provide, which is to, to continue your education while part time while while working yeah. full time. You were saying that you uh, uh, you were majored in uh, engineering, and then you, by yourself, uh, decided to pursue uh, this civil engineering with the digitalization and with the passion about the software development and those kind of things. Uh, I wanted to know how that worked out for you. Uh, how did you? Because uh, I see them as very different universes. Uh, you know, we are using software and everything with uh, in everything, especially right now in the COVID-19, it is more important for every industry, especially construction industry, to keep up uh, with all of these de developments. But uh, still, I see them uh, very different universes. And uh, the link between these two universes, for me, especially with uh, an architecture major, 
and um, right now with the degree I'm studying. Uh, how did you manage to do that? Um, I, it should yeah. be really hard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, again, I was passionate about this, and so it was really my life. You know, I spent all of my time doing this. It was, like I said, mm -hmm. yeah. I was a civil engineer by day, and I was a software developer by night. You know, that was my hobby, my passion. I did it for fun. I did it for the mastery of, of programming languages and, and uh, getting the computer to do what I, I wanted it to do. So, so first I would say that, um, you know, I, I really focused a lot of my energy on it. Um, and then when um, the opportunity came for me to leave uh, the civil engineering job I had, I worked for the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power, uh, and I left there and I, a, a friend of mine said, hey, you should check out this company called Haystead Methods. They're back east. I was moving back to the east coast of the United States. And he said, you should check them out. They, they make software for civil engineers. And I was like, hey, I will. And I did. And um, they didn't want to hire me at first, uh, you know, quite frankly, right? I, I wanted to be a software developer. I wanted to be a programmer. And so I brought them all the code that I had written and all the stuff I had done. And I had done some hydraulic equations and calculators all in the computer. And basically they looked at my code and they were just like, nah, <laughs> this is not good enough. Um, you know, you, it was clear that it was a hobby of mine and I wasn't a professional programmer. I wasn't a, a well-educated programmer. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was one guy there, there at the time who felt that I had that passion and that sort of spark that's like, hey, let's give this guy a chance. So they didn't hire me as a programmer. They hired me in technical support. Um, mm -hmm. And so I started out on the phone answering people's questions about how to use the software. And I became an expert in the software that they offered and how to support people. Uh, and in the meantime, I, again, continued my passion of learning how to program talking to the people there, help, you know, getting them to help me um, mm -hmm. on my path, you know, and, um, and so it was hard to, to bridge those two things. But I think really what it was for me was like, it's, it really is what I wanted to do. You know, I mean, that was sort of my singular focus was this is what I want to do. I want to create software. And I can do that. I didn't want to do just any software. I wanted to do software for specifically hydraulics, you know, which, okay, that was my passion, you know, so uh, yeah. I just pursued it.